Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Alice. I go by Hello Alice here on YouTube and I make art videos. And today I am going to be doing the 10 minute, 1 minute, and 10 second challenge. So first of all, I feel like when you do this, I think you're actually supposed to talk click while you're doing it and do it in real time. But I forgot about that and the I didn't talk while I was doing this and the background noise is just an episode of Brooklyn Nine-Nine that I was watching. Um, so I was originally going to just have the like everything real time but I just watched it back and it is honestly so ridiculously boring and I can't talk for that long about this because it's not like a full piece. Um, so I'm going to be speeding the 10 minute portion up uh, by two or three times um, just so that it's not ridiculously long. Like I don't know I just feel like is just unnecessary. <laughs> um, but you guys can see like the timer on my phone and stuff like that so you can know that it took me 10 minutes. So the 10 minute drawing, well first of all I decided to draw Moana because um, I haven't drawn Moana on this channel before and I really like Moana. I did start like a picture of her a while back but um, I never finished it. Uh, I lost the file, like the recording file for some reason. It got corrupted. Um, so I never finished it, <laughs> but I, I should, I should probably draw Moana again on the channel, but yeah, so the 10 minute one wasn't really too bad. 10 minutes is weird. It's a weird amount of time because it feels like a lot of time, like when you're talking about it abstractly and then you actually start drawing and you're like, oh my God, it's not a lot of time. It's, it's like a, a decent amount of time to do a drawing, um, a simple drawing, but like if you add in like coloring and shading and stuff like that, then it's definitely not enough time. And uh, I did add some coloring to this towards the end, which you guys will see. Um, but I, you know, I don't know. I was just trying to, like, make something semi-decent. I don't know. <laughs> but I also needed to be able to replicate it in a minute and ten seconds. But yeah, I've seen, I've seen this video going around a lot and I just thought it'd be a fun one to try. Um, my computer's actually broken right now, so filming has been kind of tricky for me. So I thought this would be a pretty simple video to film for you guys. Hopefully it will be fixed by next week. Um, they came in and they replaced the motherboard and that worked, but it like broke the the speakers so then they replaced the motherboard again and then that motherboard was also faulty so now they have to send it in and it's going to take like three to five days to fix and then I'm supposed to get it back so I don't know it's it's really frustrating I am currently editing on um, my dad's laptop which is working out okay but I don't really have quite all of the things that I need I don't know it's just kind of I'm not going to go into it but it's interrupted my workflow <laughs> a little bit um but yeah, so I decided to just do this with um, Prismacolor colored pencils. It seems like the easiest. I didn't want to like use a bunch of fancy supplies on like a 10 minute, 1 minute, 10 second challenge. But colored pencils seems like the best because I could kind of sketch lightly and then go darker. So I wouldn't have to like change supplies a bunch. Um, and then I just did it on like a piece of cardstock and portioned out like 10 minute, 1 minute, 10 seconds. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of the way I approach the challenge and I think it's good to challenge yourself to do like speed drawings every now and then. I think it works best when you're doing like gesture sketches, um, but it helps you kind of learn to like look, especially when you're working from life, it helps you learn to look at something and then just kind of get the basic movement or proportion of it. Like when I was in school, we would do like 15 minute gesture sketches, um, or not 15 minute, 15 second gesture sketches. And you would literally have time for like the spine and like maybe like the lit, like two lines for limbs and like the head. But it's really good because you start learning how to just like, I don't know, get the essence of a pose. So obviously that's not what I'm doing here. Here I'm kind of doing like more of a cartoony face. But if you guys have never tried doing a speed challenge, I would definitely recommend doing that, especially doing it with like figure drawings. There's a bunch of different websites out there where you can set like you can view pose references and you can set a timer and it will automatically change it, change the pose like every 15 to 20 seconds. So if any of you are looking to improve your anatomy, um, I would definitely recommend going to one of those websites and just like with a sketchbook and just like doing that and you can change the times. And I don't remember the exact, I don't remember all of them right now, like the names. I feel like Pose Maniacs might do it. Um, but you can just Google like timed artist reference photos and a bunch of websites will come up and they're really, really useful. So yeah, anyway, that's kind of a little bit of a ramble, um, but I am going to go ahead and throw on a little bit of music until we get closer to the end of this piece, and then I will jump back in to talk more about the one minute and the 10 second uh, portions of this.
Okay, so I'm going to talk about the one minute and the 10 second now. I'm going to try to make this relatively quick because I only have a minute and 10 seconds. But these were obviously a lot trickier. First of all, I didn't realize that my timer was set to 98 hours and a minute, so the timer didn't go off right away, so I was over by three seconds. Sorry about that. But the minute wasn't terrible. I was able to at least kind of sketchily lay out where the features were going to be and like try to do a little bit more. But it didn't really leave me time to fine tune things or like double check the proportions of the facial features, like the internal proportions that the eyes are level and stuff like that. So it was frustrating and definitely stress inducing. Obviously, I didn't have time to add any color. Um, the 10 second was obviously way worse. I mean, I did manage to get all her facial features in. So I was happy about that. That was my goal was for her to have two eyes and nose and a mouth so you know mission accomplished but yeah it was definitely a um a difficult it was a difficult challenge but it was a fun challenge and it's kind of fun to see like what happens when you start speeding up and what kind of like what things fall by the wayside right away I think that's interesting so if you liked this video then let me know down below don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you'd like to see more and you're new here then don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell I do upload new videos every single Friday so yeah come join the Wonderland family we would be happy to have you and I'm gonna leave you with this last little 10 second uh beautiful masterpiece that I created. So thanks for watching and as always have a great rest of your day. Bye guys!